Hey, how's it going? It's Joseph here. Let's talk about VR today. There is a lot to talk about in VR, so I'm going to break it into two different parts. The first part, I'm going to try and explain the different types of VR that is available. And the second part, I'm going to try and explain how to produce a VR image out of SketchUp without using a render. I would consider that there are about three different tiers of uh, VRs out there. The high tiers, HTC Vive and Oculus Rift, where you're able to do a room scale or fully walkable viewing or VR experience. And you can have high fidelity or photorealistic experience inside there. And then there's mid-tier where using Google Daydream or Samsung Gear VR, uh, those tend to utilize the flagship phones and have a little bit of firepower in terms of hardware to be able to navigate around the space as opposed to it being static. Being static is the lower tier. The lower tier, um, you're using just Google Cardboard technology. There's nothing fancy to it. However, images are easier to produce there as well as um, the kits are much cheaper. They range from 10 to $30. Each headset's are viably available for you. So these are the two low tier, the bottom tier ones that I have. This is a Google Cardboard. Um, this is the one you can get off from their webpage. And these come in sort of the standard and you can do your own brandings and such as well as uh, this one which is a sort of a package where you you can put it into this little box and then you can fold up and then you can put your phone in here and uh, have uh, be able to see the VR inside here so on these bottom tier experience or the Google Cardboard type of experience um, you're quite limited because you're only able to stand in one place and be able to look around. Now that's more like a panoramic view that you're just seeing in the VR. But however, there's two different types. The first one being the monoscopic and the second one being the stereoscopic. Monoscopic is one panoramic view that's around and as you turn around in, inside of the VR headset, you're just seeing around the image. However, the stereoscopic is a two different image that are shown to each of your eyes and you're seeing two different image as you pan around it's not that much different however there's enough of a difference between your eye distance that uh, you feel the distance of the object so you'll be able to tell which is closer to you and much further away and this is when it becomes sort of the VR experience in my opinion, the monoscopic isn't necessarily VR because you're just seeing a stretched out image as you have a motion. However, the VR experience becomes much more real when it's stereoscopic. So how do we get this space around you into a sort of an image format? And there's various ways. In terms of VR image format, there are two different types. There's a rectangular and a cubic. Eco rectangular is a sphere that's around you that has been stretched into a rectangle format. It's a bit distorted, however, you can judge what's on the image and be able to count the things and or you can tune in a little bit of editing on top as well. And there's another one that is cubic, a cube that's around you that has been unfolded. So it's basically like an unfolded box, front, back, top, bottom, and the both sides are unfolded in front of you. And because there are sharp cuts between the side and the front that has been unfolded so it's it's difficult to judge what's in the image as well as it makes a little bit difficult more difficult to edit the image in my opinion a rectangular is more versatile and there are many different type of renders out there where you can use to produce either the stereoscopic panorama images for the lower tier experience or the high fidelity experience on HTC Vive and Oculus Rift however they often cost 
money as well as uh, the level of skills required to produce those type of images are quite high and I'm gonna try and show you a sort of the quick and dirty way of using SketchUp visuals and the graphics into a static panoramic VR experience that will be the part two I hope all of these sort of make sense to you if not you can leave it in the comment of a question and I'll try and best answer those and I'm gonna show you how to create the VR image out of SketchUp using their graphics on a second part so stay tuned for that and thank you